Islam is for everyone. Islam is for everyone. And our youth are the future. Our youth are the future. And I'll tell you right now, I have no qualms about saying this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to judge each and every one of us separately. And He judges what's in our hearts. He judges what's inside of us. He knows us better than anybody knows anyone else. Our character is going to be the most weighty thing on the scale of deeds on the day of judgment. Not your salah, not your zakat, not all, your, your character. So if your knowledge is not molding your character to be a softer, more humble, more gentle, more forbearing, more patient, more kind, more forgiving person, then you are seeking knowledge incorrectly. Let me tell you that. And you're not applying it as it should be applied. There are people who might not seem as outwardly practicing as this elite group. They might not have that outward appearance, but wallahi, there might be some of them that are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than scholars because of what's in them and the good that they do and the deeds that are between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that nobody knows of. We need to open this door to everyone. It is for everyone. And our youth are the future. All it takes is one generation to change everything. Our youth could be the generation that changes everything for the better. And if you don't believe me that our youth are the future and all it takes is one generation, let me tell you something. In 1998, I was born and raised as a Southern, conservative, Republican, Christian. And now I have three children of my own who are being raised as Muslims. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Look how quickly things can change. One generation, how quickly can one generation change things? We need to keep that door open. Because as long as you are living, as long as you are breathing, as long as there is life in your body, as long as your soul is still inside your flesh, then there is a hope for you. There is a chance for you. There is repentance for you. There is correction for you. There is guidance for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not closed that door for you as long as you are living and breathing. It's never too late. I don't care how long you've been astray. I don't care how far off the path you've gone. I don't care how much wrong you think you've done. I don't care how dark you think it's gotten. You always have that chance to turn to Allah. And it is such an easy, simple step called tawbah. And tawbah literally means to turn around, to go back. Literally all you have to do is turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make that one step in His direction. We know the hadith al-Qudsi from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that whoever makes a step towards Allah, Allah makes two steps towards them. Whoever goes to Allah walking, Allah comes to them running. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only wants you to turn to Him.